some really highly respected YouTubers or influencers are becoming founders, it's not that hard for them to raise money. I mean, raising money in general is very hard, but because they have these paying community already, or they have a huge influence on the internet about AI, when they say, hey, I want to build this vibe coding tool, even though they're like maybe another 50 teams doing the same thing, the investors actually invest in them because they feel like, okay, you have proved that you can influence on the internet. You can gather a bunch of people who like your content, who like the way you explain things, who like the products you built. Then we believe that uh, you could turn this into some uh, purchasing power. These people might have their own Discord channel or school or circle. These are all community platforms for social media. Maybe you know you have 2,000 people in it. If 5% of them paying for a tool for, I don't know, 20 or 50 bucks a month, that's already a sizable amount of income for you to get started with, which the majority of the startup founders today won't even have. Right. And you could argue that this is for B2C, which is business to consumers instead of B2B, which is business to business. But a lot of the AI tools today, as far as I see, are, you know, there are two ways. Right. But but the majority of the ways is starting from B2C, gain some popularity out there, gain some traction out there. And then later, you know, th these things become your leverage to negotiate with a much larger enterprise who might not trust you if you're just a smaller team with no users or no early tractions. Think of the examples of Figma or Notion. These, these guys all started with the same things with individual designers or individual workers who want to boost their productivity.